you see how easy he's able to finish getting it up high off the glass. Well, here you're seeing Rutgers really trying to dig in man to man. That's what Michael told us. They're going to play man to man. They're going to be aggressive, and we're seeing right a bit taller. He, he handles the ball a little bit better. Ron is an excellent player and had some phenomenal moments here at RU. But I would say Dylan has early reminiscent shades of like a Jalen Brunson. Right off the bat, Aaron Scott certainly has become a high volume shooter. And Kadari Richmond the most when he's at Kentucky, even before he won a national championship at Louisville, won one at Kentucky. Uh, got to the Final Four at Providence. We know he's at the. But St. John's doesn't waste any time at the other end. Thus far, come out forcing the issue. He's got to get those type of shots in the flow of the off. What a great dump bound pass from Lewis. The edge of four. Stays with the. Get some ball pressure from Dylan Harper and the crowd getting it. And we're going to get a turnover. Maturity at such an early age. His poise, you see it in the numbers. Three for four. He's operating at a highly efficient clip early on here. Yeah, two Rutgers players fall down, but we're going to get an offensive foul. Give him a dunk and sort of flow of the game, and let's see how he plays from here on out. Ball is short there on the jumper. They were sold out in late spring. Back of the iron. Game, they look like they're out of funk and not able to have any continuity in developing good looks. Yeah, he's got those two fouls. Last thing. Continue to get him up. St. John's got nine turnovers. Bailey for three. Off the far side. St. John's really. They've been a completely different team, obviously, without Richmond. In traffic. That was a shovel pass over to Wilcher. He misses. There's the rebound from Zube. He misses. Another miss, this time by Wilcher. Was that the fourth? Or this is eerily reminiscent of last season's exhibition between these two games that resulted in a 89-78 win. When I see Jalen Brunson right there. A great penetration there by St. John's and Dunlap. He had the open look. He misses it. Dirk Hack on the open floor. What a floor. You will be rewarded. And Abole is in excellent shape. He, has he gets the rebound on the other end. Crowd up at, the, up at Jersey Mites. Richmond back in the game. Trying to have an impact right off of that first possession. Uh, prolific freshman shooting season whatsoever. Only knocking her down 22% from beyond the arc. That's one thing he worked on this past. Positionless basketball that both teams are attempting to play. Bailey over to Harper. Harper behind his back. Scoops underneath with the left hand. He floats it in. Tight and compact to the body. Pro movement right there by Dylan Harper. Oh, but he got burned there defensively. He went for the gamble. Jeremiah Williams keeping that dribble low. It's in a little bit of a trouble. Davis looking for that post play to Obole. Total of 17 turnovers between the two teams. 10 for St. John, 7 for Rutgers. Oh! Head up, looking to drive right on Bailey. Bailey just absolutely just all over him. Point, but we've seen a rotation of players bringing up the basketball for Rutgers. Oh, what a pass inside. Kicking the ball off to the corner. Hand on the ball, a little deflection. Lewis, and one. That's a field play, especially for a guy who's only been playing organized basketball for around four years. A little dish off, and a bowl, he gets stripped there underneath. Here comes Richmond out of the break. Sure. And looking at his resume, what he's done in his Seton Hall days, it's hard to believe he's going to be right in the mix of things. Great ball pressure right there by Lewis, forcing the turnover. Excellent job of being active on the ball. 